Welcome everyone to Dancing with. Today we are going to talk about the sample uh, test for the topic uh, prepare data for analysis. So we are going to solve a few questions uh, for the particular uh, item or say topic. So first we are going to solve the questions from this very particular module itself. And afterwards, we'll make use of uh, this website uh, examtopics.com. But the thing is that uh, there are a few questions wrong over there. So I'll come up with the proper logic and material that you can refer to. Okay. So I am Ritesh. I love to work in both the communities, Tableau and Power BI. As far as Power BI is concerned, right now I am at position memorable member, which is the third highest position at Power BI community ladder. Let's go back to the business and let's start with the questions over there. So as I said, prepare data for analysis. We are going to focus on that and we will directly jump over to the questions over there. So within that topic itself, you have two modules over there. So let's move over to the get data in Power BI. We'll go to the check your knowledge so that we can answer the questions over there. The first one is what type of expression do you use to extract data from Microsoft SQL Server? So the simple answer for that is TSQL. We are not making use of DAX function or MDX function to extract data from Microsoft SQL Server. That should be a simple one. The second one is you are creating a Power BI report with data from Azure Analysis Services Cube. When the data refreshes in the cube, you would like to see it immediately in the Power BI report. So definitely whenever you say immediately, that means live like crickinfo.com or say stock market uh, dashboard. These are the dashboards um, or the stories that you would like to see live, right? If it's old and it value will be degraded. So the answer for this would be live connection. So I would like to go with live connection. What can you do to improve performance when you are getting data in Power BI? Perform some calculation in the original data source. Only pull data into the Power BI service, not Power BI desktop. That does not make any sense. Uh, use the select SQL statement in your SQL queries when you are pulling data from a relational database. Combine date. No, this is just opposite of what you should do. You should separate data and time. Not You should not combine because uh, that is not going to help you for sure. Generally, you would like to separate it, especially when you are going to join this with a calendar table. So definitely you don't need time along with data over there, right? So most of the cases you would not like to do this one. So the answer for this would be perform some um, calculation in the original data source. So instead of bringing that very calculation to Power BI, so this is um, a sort of materializing your calculation at the data source level. So definitely this will help you to improve the performance. Power Query and Power Query Editor are built to allow you to process the data. However, the processing power required to do this might lower performance in other areas of your report. It's good practice to process as much as possible in the native data source. As simple as that. I think these were pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go to the bigger one now. So ladies and gentlemen, I have prepared special notes for you and I'll try to give you, you know, reasoning and logic as well. I'll give you the link of this very particular question bank as well. But remember, a few questions are wrong over there. So stay focused. So let's take this one prepared for data analysis. You have a custom connector that returns ID from to subject body and has attachment for every email sent during the past year. More than 10 million re records are returned. You build a report analyzing the internal network of employees based on whom they send emails to. You need to prevent report recipient from reading the analyzed emails. The solution must minimize the model size. So what you should do. So there are three options over there that you can see. So you can see there are a lot of records over there that you should notice. And your report is based on the internal network. Right? Like I am sending an email to you so that there is a network between, between you and me. So likewise, uh, someone is sending mails to four people. There is a network over there. So that network, we are trying to capture that network in the, for, for this report. Also, we need to prevent report recipient from reading the analyzed emails. 
so hint is great hint is there that they analyzed email body should not be there for sure right we are not allowing to read them the content or even the subject the first option does not make sense over here it's, it's talking about the role level security that means that i see the content that belongs to me only you see the content that belongs to you only yes you can set the role level security but that is not going to reduce the model size over here that remains the same the model size remains the same but yes if i log in i see the content related to me so this is not going to reduce the size the c option from the model view set the subject and body columns to hidden means it's already you have those content already there or say data already there with the model and after that you are putting hidden so it's not reducing the size as well only if you remove the subject and body columns during the import itself right at that point of time if you are doing that yes you can minimize the data model size so the answer for this would be b because c a and c both the options are not going to reduce the size second question is you open a query in power query editor you need to identify the percentage of empty values in each column as quickly as possible which data preview option should you select well seeing is believing so i'll show you from the power bi itself so here you can see the power query editor over there and they are talking about the empty value percentage remember that percentage so i have column profile i have column distribution where it can show you that how many distinct value distinct or unique values do you have in a particular column so this is column distribution this is column profile where you can see the count error empty distinct but we don't see the percentage you see the percentage only when you go and select the column quality so 0% error 0% empty so here 100% empty so we need to see why it is like that so the answer for this one would be the column quality because we are talking about percentage over there remember that so the answer for this would be d okay and i have one screenshot for you as well okay fair enough the next question uh, remember that this is not correct in the original uh, link so please focus it says you have a prospective customer list that contains 1500 rows of data so not many rows the list contain the following field first name last name email state phone number you um, import the list into the power query editor you need to ensure that the list contain records for each state to which you want to target a marketing campaign so the hint is that each state should have some value over there right? it should not be null that's the hint which two action should you perform each correct answer present part of the solution note each correct okay so remember that that when you are doing that profiling or distribution or quality it says that for each state right you need to check the whole data set because by default power bi takes only first thousand rows so that's the thing that you need to notice so that's why there is one option over there enable column profiling based on the entire data set don't worry i'll show you so i go to my power bi and if you see if i want to see for the entire data set i need to change that to column profiling based on entire data set and once i do that it will show me the actual count uh, although for this one it's already less than 1000 so it won't make any difference but if you have more than 1000 then it will make some difference over there so that option is there for sure what would be the other one open advanced editor no we don't need that the other two options uh, that you would be interested in are select column quality or the select column profile so you de- you don't need column distribution which is nothing but it shows you how many distinct or unique value that you are having we are more interested to know that whether there there are nulls against state or not and the other thing is that you need to see that whole of, for whole of the data set and for that one option is good we are good with that one so one is turn the other would be either column profile or column quality so if you see the column quality it just talk about the percentage you know percent error or empty but here you get the full information over there with respect to the count error empty distinct unique uh, minimum max and average uh, so we would like to go with column profile which is there this one and uh, select enable profile column profiling 
based on the entire data set right so these two options that the answer would be c and e and remember this answer is not correct over there or there is there is a doubt in that answer for sure another uh, question is you have an api that returns more than 100 columns so you have a lot, lot more columns over there but you need to fetch only those columns that have suffix source id that means that will end with source id like this one or say this one so what would be your m code power query m code that's the question so you will get such questions as well where you'll have to select like this and for example remove resources what you need to have over here then after that what then after that what right for this question also i'll take you to the power query editor because it will clarify your doubt so for example if i just go there and I can just go and maybe remove columns like this one and afterwards i'll go to my advanced editor so i just want to sh show you that you know how it looks like remove columns table dot remove columns so this is the m code for removing a column but then we have some conditions also over there so definitely it will come as table dot remove columns like like this but then we have some conditions over there because we want to list only so it will have list over there select those column names for which the text will end with source id right you got my point so the answer for this would be remove columns then list select the column because we are listing the columns and after that we are listing those columns only for which the text will end with source id we want to delete only those columns over there so i hope that this would have clarified your doubt the last but not the least drag and drop you will get such questions as well so here it says that okay you are building a data set from json file that contain an array of document you need to import attribute as columns from all the documents in the file the solution must ensure that date attribute can be used as date hierarchies in microsoft power bi report which three actions should you perform in sequence okay so we'll go and we'll try to file but it's important for you to understand that this document that we are talking about this document the first step would be to convert to table second would be to the exp to expand the column and third would be the change type right again this answer is not correct over there so please focus here the the first would be is to convert the list to a table as you can see and after that expand column so it will expand all the columns over there within that file and the third last but not the least uh, so i have one screenshot there as well the change type at the end so the answer would be convert to list to table expand the columns and set the data type so these are the list of questions that we have covered for today and our topic uh, for today's session was you know how you are prepare data for analysis we'll talk about more questions when we meet again but for today i think this is enough uh, let me know if it was helpful and i'll meet you again till then keep on dancing with data because data is data, everything goes. Bye bye.